Okay, welcome back everybody. We're gonna do another Finding of Isaac run. Uh, we did Maggie last time. We've beaten Mom's Heart with everybody except Eden and Kane. So let's start Kane. Let's see if we can go two floors without taking damage and without picking up any hearts. Little Brimstone could be very good for us. Especially for helping us avoid taking damage. Cain. Cain and Abel in the Bible, right? So Cain was the one who killed his brother. What a son of a bitch, huh? I don't think it's worth it to trade this bomb for either of those. Those seem like bad choices. Um, try not to take damage here. I think we should trade the bomb here, this makes sense. And bad draw, but I think the idea was good. Brimstone's already helping us out. What we could do is blow this up at the chance that maybe there's a cellar or something. Three, right? Walk in with Grimstone already charged. Kane versus Widow. Oh, this fucking thing, man. Okay, I think a soul heart counts as picking up a heart, so we're not gonna grab that. We're gonna get our tier size up and our range up. And we're just gonna go on to the next floor. See if we can unlock Eve and Samson in the same run. And no danger in this room yet. Let's see what's in the chest. Keys, very useful. Fire. north here. Uh, not worth not worth the bomb at all. And on uh here to the east. We have a tinted rock. That could be good. Soul Heart. Again, I don't think we can pick that up to qualify for uh, the Eve shit. And we also want to take damage here. Come on. Bastard. Okay, if I was a boss, I would probably be to the north. I guess I'm not a boss, though. Let's blow this up. Here we get. Again a soul heart. Okay. And what a run to give us a bunch of soul hearts that we can't use. So 
this way. Here's the boss. I don't see any enemies. We'll be good to go. Is a bomb worth two coins? Maybe. Let's go in here and see what we can do. If we can beat this guy without taking damage, then... With a little brimstone, looks like it's going to be possible. Okay, just don't get hit by the flies, stupidly. Alright. We have a bar of soap. 0.5 tiers up, 0.2 shot speed. Have we gotten the item room? We have not gotten the item room. We need to decide now if we're going to do the deal with the devil. We have two hearts. I don't think we're going to do it, so we probably shouldn't even go in there. Try for an injury room next time. I think that makes more sense. Um, unfortunately, we're going to have to brave that last room, I think, to get to the item room. Well, let's just do it. Use our surroundings to our advantage here. There are no enemies? We lucked out. Let's go in here. We can kind of take a gamble on... Uh... Ooh, maybe we don't need to take a gamble. Yeah, we got a couple of nice things. Butterbean knocks back nearby enemies' objectiles. Enemies pushed into obstacles take 10 damage. Grab that guy. Scoop that up. See what kind of chest we got going on. How about we blow up uh, this one? Hope we get a bomb. We get a pill. We don't know what it does. It could be really shitty. It might give us damage. I'll try blowing this up. Okay, get another bomb. Do we dare gamble again? I think so. There, nice. Now we can use the bomb freely here. Okay. So we should unlock Eve and Kane. Or uh, Eve and uh, Samson. As long as we don't stupidly walk into a soul heart. Don't pick up any soul hearts. Unlock Samson, baby. Get right to the item room. Monstro falls on an enemy and deals 120 damage. Monstro falls on Isaac if the room has no enemies. Okay, so just don't use it. If the room doesn't have any enemies. Let's try the pill now. Lemon party. Nice to know, at least we know what that pill does. So in the future, if we see it again, we can use it to our advantage. Total failure right now, but you know, it is what it is. You gotta take chances, you gotta experiment. That's life, baby. How did that not hit anybody? We should definitely use Monstro in the uh, boss rooms, right? I feel like Monstro's Teeth is a pretty good weapon. Match 10% chance for the room clear would be a bomb. Chance for a bonus bomb from chest, tinted rocks, and destroyed machines, and remove stick. Mm, let's just grab it, why not? Uh, let's go into the shop. I think it makes sense. What do we got here? Single use affects the whole floor, explodes all objects, deals 200 damage to all enemies, opens over to the boss rush, hush, and all secret rooms, having a golden bob when using the item. 
consumes it and allows for another use of Mama Mega. How about we use it on this floor? Switch right back to Monstro's Tooth after. there but I feel like let's keep exploring you know we got this incredible item let's push it to its limit we got another secret room over here well well that's too bad We already went to the item room, right? Yep. Not worth going in there. Hit up every room. Got one more over here. Do we get from this? Yeah, Isaac's tears move quickly in a spiral pattern. Point four tears up, one point five range up. Right, spectral tears and chance for homing tears. That sounds pretty good. Ooh, it's not that great. Here we have brimstone. But it's pretty bad, dude. This could really ruin our run, so let's just go with this. percent wider tears and increases knockback. Yeah, we're gonna take that. We never used Monstro's Tooth either. Let's use it on the boss. sure why we didn't get the deal with the devil we got perfection plus 10 luck up taking damage destroys the trinket okay well let's try and not take any damage anything we can do on this floor with it no I have to take damage immediately. And continue to use Will Brimstone to uh, the maximum that we can. Okay, it spawns a pushable TNT barrel, using the item a second time in the same room. Remotely detonates the barrel. What is that, like a free bomb? It's like a, f a free bomb forever. I shoot it? Does it blow up? Ooh. I see. So you can kind of push it around. Um. Monster did a shit ton of damage to the boss, though. I think maybe that's better. We have plenty of bombs, so it just seems redundant. check the sacrifice room out, or the um, mob room, but I really don't think it's worth it. Fucking stay away from me. Yeah, 
We'll go in here. A couple of bags of items. Not bad, not bad. That was the super secret room and we found it by accident. That is what you call very nice luck. Let's blow this up. And this flame over at it. Man, I feel like there's no way we're going to get out of this without taking damage. You gotta feel it. You gotta feel it in your heart. Damn it. Fucking damn you. Well, we'll see what we can do, man. Maybe we can blow up um, some keepers if we find a shop. There's still a chance for the, uh, the angel room. It's not great, but... 18% was that 1 in 5 about? You gotta believe. You gotta have faith. Definitely going in the shop. Come on, greed. So much money, man. Just give me a fucking normal shop. Try out the arcade. What do we got? We got a heart, homie, but we got no hearts to give him. I say we just blow this up, we blow this guy up. And blow this up. We got, I don't know, man, I'm, I'm trying to think, is there any, any um, little characters we can blow up to try and increase our chance? We got to use this bill. Get through the sacrifice door for free, but it doesn't seem it's super worth it. This will still take damage on the way back out. Yeah, definitely picking that up. Wish we would have had it a little bit earlier, but it's all good, baby. Go out through here. We could go straight to boss, and I think we will. We don't have item room, yeah, we've gotten everything, so just head on in. Monstro's tooth right out of the gate. Son of a bitch. Book. One black heart spawns three bombs and a matchstick. Okay, we'll 
level this far, we should have a really good chance for um, getting the angel room. We might have to play really conservatively. Hang back as much as we can, let a little brimstone kind of do his deal. I have to aim this little guy though. for one coin. Two coins. Give me something decent. Does he only give us coins? Oh, wow, dude. Fuck you. What the hell? Enemy went hyper mode for a second. Okay, into the shop. A steam sail. A steam sail, bro. When we're already so loaded. Okay, we gotta increase our damage. the boss. Um, still have a black heart. I think we should just go for it though. Use our whole black heart, try and take this guy out, use monsters to And a little brimstone our way out of this boss fight without taking too much damage. Actually we can keep it trapped like that. something good. What's the deal here? As long as we have keys, we can keep opening it. Try this out. And 
we will place a bomb here. I don't think it's going to do anything, but yeah. Now let's go find the item room. And I've never given all those bombs to this guy, although we do have eight more bombs, so now let's just make the same mistake again. He gives us coins again, and fuck this guy for it. Yeah, give us an item, not even a thing. This is not back, why not? We still have not found the item room. Couple of blue flames. We didn't explore the rest of the floor because you know there's opportunities here to get some soul hearts. Got a dime too. Um, I think there's a chance that our trinket makes it so that we can walk on spikes, but I might be mistaken. I really don't want to uh, take unnecessary damage. I think that was worth the trade. Which I this could maybe do like both. That's a secret room, and also blow up the. We still now this should blow up both right here. I think that's worth the bomb. Hardest item room in the game to find, apparently. Teleports Isaac to the treasure room. If there is a planetarium, it teleports there instead. See, we used it though, and it didn't take us to the treasure room at all. Last time. This is just some random ass room. Damage up for every empty red heart container. Let's take a look at what kind of chests. Ooh. This seems worth it. Isaac to the treasure room, so let's pick that back up. Teleports Isaac to the secret room. We haven't found the secret room on this floor, so we could definitely use that. I'm back here. Let's open these chests first. Piece of sh Open this one up. Okay, we got two unidentified pills. Let's just go ahead and use them. Something's wrong. Um, identified pill. We'll use that too. 
Now, let's take the uh, room card and use this. And we'll come back for the other card. The moon. Don't give a shit about that one. Um, we got a pill that... 48 hours, something's wrong. This is better. This will take us right to the treasure room on the next floor. I think we're ready to move on. Let's head back. to the next floor. Okay, so immediate stars card. The Wiz. Isaac's, Isaac fires two tears at once diagonally. Spectral tears. Is that really shitty? Let's get it. That's pretty shitty. But combined with our um, our little floating buddies, it's actually not that bad. We can make this work. Uh, let's go ahead and use a key for that. We have plenty of keys. The current room grants damage and speed up. Grab that. Maybe the next room. Taking damage is a 5% chance to deal 80 damage. And Black Hearts and Necronomicon like effects deal 2 times damage. Is that better than knockback? I think I want knockback. Okay, we got some coins. We have 91 coins. I don't think it's really all that worth it. Or necessary at all. Son of a bitch. I hate both dudes, man. Brimstone actually hit nothing. I think shot it right up their asses, man. Okay, let's see what you got. Nothing. Not even really worth it to blow that up. Let's um, move on. We really want to find a shop and we want to pray that when we find it, it's not going to be super greed or anything like that. Just a regular shop. We have a ton of money burning a hole in our pocket. We have the steam sale. Buy everything in that shop and not even feel any sort of financial burden, bro. Living the American dream. Um, 
head into the shop. There we go. So what we can do is reroll. Using the item makes Isaac hold the axe. Holding the axe allows Isaac to break rocks in secret room entrances and damage enemies. Landing a hit with the axe reduces its charge. Entering a new floor fully recharges the axe. Deals two times Isaac's damage, plus ten. But all enemies in the room cost one coin. This synergizes so well with us. It does two times Isaac's damage, which right now is 6.23, plus 10. So, 20, 22, every time we use it. Yeah, we're doing this. Now we have an incentive to keep looking for money. So we have the boss. We haven't found it yet. Probably not here. Decided we want knocked back. Man, it'd be sweet to be able to get that, but can't make it across the gap. I'm gonna end this fight now. Soul Heart? Oh, shit. Is the Empress? And let's make sure that we're using our coin box. There we go. Um, 2.5 range up. Yeah, we could probably get through the rest of this game just using the coin box and spamming it on bosses. We get plus one eternal heart and we get what plus seven tiers up. Plus one eternal heart allows angel rooms to spawn. Let's grab this, and let's try and get um, some extra spirit hearts, soul hearts, whatever they're and let's bounce. Gotta remember we have our money box. I feel like it's in there. It, especially on this floor. Let's just move on. I feel like we have plenty of money. We should. Fuck. What else are we gonna use our bombs and keys on, right? Yeah, 
Okay. Use this in the boss room. Um, worth it, right? We get three bombs for this. We gotta use two. dick just fall off what that was did he like accidentally shit this game is crude for ten percent chance for hearts or for heart drops to be soul hearts black hearts or bone hearts I don't even know what a bone heart is and pickups in the current room. Two keys are probably worth it. I don't actually know what the card does. I read it first. Oh, come on, you son of a bitch. percent higher angel room chance a chance to find the Bible in shops and let's let's get this one for the just for the angel chance alone we just spawn the farm right here Soul hearts first. I don't know if this is gonna like break the game or something. Ooh, wow, it's actually gonna let us move on. Okay. Well, definitely was not my plan because we don't have any more money. The whole thing was kind of like being Mr. Moneybags. Now that that plan is out there, I know what to do. I'm taking a ton of damage. That didn't go very well for us already. We 
You're not doing anywhere near enough damage, bro. We need our money. In fact, is there any way that maybe we can blow this guy up and get some more money? Something good. Six troll balls. At least we can figure out what this does. Deals 100 damage to all enemies. Full health reveals the entire map. This is a great card. We should save it for the boss. Isaac's bombs create a cloud of poison. Grants poison immunity and plus five bombs. Take it. We'll spam our coin box on the boss. So we can see that the secret room is here. Of course it would be good. super weird, I guess. But we can't be too upset. It synergizes with our money build really well. And it doesn't look like there's any other secret rooms, so let's push forward to the boss. We don't want to waste any more time exploring what we're looking at. A treacherous. Spam our coin like our lives depend on it because it pretty much does. <laughs> it's not even gonna be enough, Jesus. Yeah, we just couldn't do enough damage to him. Yeah, but we made it pretty far. That's the first time we've made it to um, this section of the game. And now we're not going to restart. We're back. We need to check out our new characters. We unlocked Eve. We unlocked Samson. We got Bloodlust, Dead Bird, and Whore of Babylon. Yeah, we could try them out next time. We can definitely go. I get in Bethany. We have Lazarus, right? Yeah. And like I was saying, I kind of want to try out hard mode anyway. And we got options. We got options. But I appreciate you guys uh, joining me for the ride. And uh, you have a good one. I'll see you next time.